Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to change the system bars color in Jitbell Compose. So if you don't know what that is, so the status bar and the navigation bar, these are called system bars. So in this video, I will show you how to customize them, how to change their color, uh, how to change these icons that appears in the status bar and this indicator, for example, and it will also show how you, how you can, of course, change their color. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so when you create a Jitbug Composer project, you will find a theme file here that contains this function. So in these lines, the status bar color is changed in these lines. So now, if we go here, as you can see, the color is kind of a blue, and that is set in here. So using color, and it's set to the primary color, which is a blue. So if you want to change the system bar's color only once, you can do it from here. So here you can say, uh, for example, color dot blue, and uh, here it requires the integer value, so we can say to ARGB. And if you want to change the navigation bar color, you can say window dot navigation bar color, and let's make that red. And this line here determines the theme of the icons in the status bar, so we can make them white or dark. In this case, they will show as white icons in the light theme and they will show as uh, dark icons in the dark theme. So let's just launch the app. As you can see, the status bar color now is blue and the navigation bar color is red. Now moving to the next scenario, if you want to change it for a specific screen and or if you want to change it on a click, for example. So for that, we just want to create pretty much the same thing they're doing it in here. But I'm going to explain what this all of this means. So let's just start by creating a file here, system bars color changer. And we want to create a composable file with a composable function with the same name. So in here, we want to get the stats bar color, which is a color, and that could be null. Uh, we also want the navigation bar color that is type of color could be null and finally when we want to determine the theme of the icons in the status bar is light icons and that is a boolean okay so let me just add a comma here so to change the bar's color uh, whether that's that's bar color or the navigation bar color we can do that using the window class because in the window class we have we have a property for the status bar color and the navigation bar color and also for the for the theme of the icons so the first step would be to get an instance of the window class so if you don't know a window is just a container of ui elements so you can imagine it like a transparent rectangle that takes the screen size and each activity at the end has a window. So how do we get the window now? We can say val window equals to local context.current. We cast that to our activity. And now we can just see this. And since each activity has an instance of a window, we can say dot window. Now we can say stats bar color or status color if that is not null then we can say window dot status bar color that would be to add to to our to a rgb let's copy this for the navigation bar color uh, here let's just say bar like that and this would be navigation bar color and now we want to change the theme of the icons, so we can say window compat. Now this time we need to use we need to use this window compat. Um, we do this. We say get instance controller. We pass in our window and the view. So here we need to get the view as well. View equals to local view dot current. We pass in the view. Now in here we can just say is appearance lights test bar. And you just pass this one here. And we want to pass the negative value of this one. So, so far, this is not good. Why? Because we have a side effect. Because we are trying to just 
make some logic that has nothing to do with Jitback Compose and that is considered as a side effect so, you wanna, so we want to use one of the side effects API and that is a side effect so we can just wrap everything with a side effect and move these lines now inside here and that's it so um, by the way side effect is used to change the non-compose state inside a compose scope so now we have the state of this text bar colors this text bar color and the navigation bar color and we are trying to change them like that without the side effect inside the compose scope that is wrong you can just throw a non-compose code in a compose scope because that will give you unexpected results and bad performance so whenever you have something like this you just need to think of using some of the side effects so we use side effect here because again we use this side effect when we want to change a non-compose state inside a compose scope okay now this function is ready to use so we can go to the main activity and i already used it to test it so yeah just let's keep it like that so i'm changing the color here to spark color to black and the navigation bar color to red and this one is true so let's just check that out and here you go so this one is black this one is red uh you can you can just call this in any screen and you will be able to change it but let's say you have a button for example like that just call this change bars color and you just want to change the bars color on this click you can't obviously call the system bars color changer because this is because this could be only called inside a composable function and in this only click we don't have the compose scope so what we do now is we go we we'll go back here and we want to make this more reusable so how so so what i'm gonna do now is to extract the functionality of this inside another function so we can say let me make some space and we can create a function and call this change system bars color we're gonna take the same parameters in here add on top of that we want the window window and the view and now we can open color brackets and we can just copy everything in here paste it here and this time without this side effect and now we can remove this call change system bars color uh, in here we just need to pass the window the view and like that um, I'm gonna put this in new lines and just see and use named arguments Now let's get back to the main activity. Here we can just simply say change system bars color the window. So let's get that in here. So let me remove this first. Say window equals. We can actually go here and copy it from here. And uh, we can now get the view local view dot current. Now let's pass this in here. So window that is window and view that is view now let's say it's the spark color let's make that um green navigation bar color let's make that yellow and is light let's make that false so we want to see just the dark icons let's preview that so click here and here you go so now the icons are dark, the test bar color is green, and the navigation bar color is yellow. So that was everything I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you liked it. If you like my content, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Give a thumbs up for this video. And thank you for watching this one. So I hope you have a great day and catch you in the next video.